Hey y'all, Shanice here. Thank you for coming over to Memberships. So today I'm going to show you how we do this braidless pattern using the rubber band method uh, for my seamless install. So now listen, don't pay no money, your girl. You want to always do as I said, not as I do. Make sure that you moisturize your hair. It's good and conditioned and everything. Um, I ain't got time for that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time for that right now. So we're just going to put this up on here and then we're just going to keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to spray some leave-in conditioner or something on that thing when the time comes you know a little bit afterwards or whatever before i put my actual install in but you know what i'm saying yes Ooh, a little dry a little crusty whatever right now but girl you know i gotta move fast and swiftly so i ain't have time to do that right in there but you make sure you do that okay Now, you're going to see me put the first block, I guess you want to call that, um, <laughs> the first square in my head. And I'm going to bring the rubber band to the front, like to my hairline. That's where you want it to be because you want the install to be you know seamless around your perimeter and the way you do that is by bringing that to the front because it holds that hair in place and no it doesn't slip and no you don't want to do it too tight because you ain't trying to bring your hairline back you know what i'm saying you ain't trying to give no george jefferson or nothing like that later on in life so make sure that it's not too tight you'll see me throughout as i am adding the rubber bands if i feel something a little tension a little uh, you know what i'm saying then i go ahead and loosen that up before i keep going because the further you get into this pattern the tighter it will get because you got to think you're adding more rubber bands more rubber bands so if you put that first rubber band in and it's tight baby it's going to be intolerable by the end so be sure that you don't you're not putting unnecessary tension on your hair see how i'm trying to pull that back i'm loosening that up yeah that's fine loosen that stuff up okay and basically i mean there's really nothing else for me to like explain explain for real for real for now i'm just showing you what i'm doing um and now i'll be back when further explanation is needed And all I'm doing right there is just kind of pulling my little baby hairs out, you know, whatever. I'm not trying to do no big edges or nothing like that. But the baby hairs, like, I just feel like, you know, styling the style without the baby hair. Like, I don't know. Like, I need it. I need it in my life. So that's why I'm, you know, kind of sweeping around the perimeter right there. Just trying to pull them little fine hairs out or whatever. Um but yeah and then also oh let me tell y'all for those of you who have been um you know rocking with me for a long time y'all probably like oh um, shay when your hair longer than that and yeah girl it was a little longer than that you know what i'm saying i mean it was a lot longer than that um so basically let me tell you why this is going on because this is very repetitive this little video part or whatever um so i may have been like mildly inebriated you know what i'm saying and um thought it was a good idea to go ahead and like take my locks out that i had in at the time but um it wasn't like a regular crochet install it was the one like the individual crochet install where my hair was threaded through the locks and you know in my inebriation i might have kind of forgotten that <laughs> and i may have cut like all my hair out <laughs> like i cut all that shit out <laughs> it is a little too late you know what i'm saying so yeah girl having to grow this shit back out anyway i was just showing you right there what i was actually listening to which was beyonce's album because i don't know she's always a vibe it, it gets me in my slay mode you know whatever but yeah that's why you grow hair you know and sit back a few inches or whatever because you know i'm having to grow that out that happened about a month or so ago well, a couple of months now i think but yeah uh, so don't don't you know <laughs> Just be careful when you crochet and when you, you know what I'm saying. Anyway. Yeah, I'll be back.
okay so right here it's kind of up to you what you want to do how much time you have how much you want to invest in the style how long you're going to have it or whatever because you really could slick that shit in a bun or you know like flatten it out and put a um uh crochet net or something over the back and you could just crochet that for real for real but because I'm installing some hair that I know I'm going to love. I know that I'm going to be wearing it quite some time. I know I'm going to probably get in the water and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's summer and all that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and continue the rubber band method throughout the entire head. Um, but if you want to see those lazy girl methods, I'll try to incorporate those um you know as i do further installs or future installs or whatever just let me know if that's something you want to see but i mean from here like it, it's really just up to you how you want to go about installing it because the back it really ain't super important as long as you get the perimeter and shit done the rest of it it, it, it for real don't matter it is really circumstantial depending on what you want um so basically i'm just gonna continue with what i'm doing um from the back now i will you'll see right there in the kitchen um i don't run the braids all the way to the kitchen i started the kitchen and i'll bring it to the middle basically so the bulk of my hair will be in the middle back of my head if that makes sense um because i don't want my perimeter to look thick or bulky or anything um in the kitchen area so just check that out and so also you'll see i'm gonna do that two different ways like right here you see i put a rubber band in the middle and then i put a rubber band in the kitchen and then i brought the kitchen up to the middle and did it that way you can do it that way that's extra security that way but then i'm going to do it another way on the other side which basically i'm just going to start at the kitchen i'm going to put a rubber band on the kitchen bring it up to the middle and then conjoin it all at one time and you can do that these are what i call anchor braids because they're anchoring you know from different levels or for, from different sides of your head and you'll see as they feed into the rest of the install as i come as i come oh lord i can't talk as i complete this braiding pattern you'll see why i call them anchor braids um but you know so the first way it gave it more security but this way you know it's like eh, you know it'll work it's fine but it's a lot of faith you know in that one rubber band that you're gonna have right there in the middle so um you know a lot of times i use the first method but you can use this method as well it's really up to you again depends on how long you're going to uh you know wear the install and what are you planning on doing it or whatever y'all see that though y'all see how short that is man i really cut my shit up though <laughs> oh my god i'm not even upset this shit was so funny Oh, well, let me run this by y'all real quick. Y'all the first ones that are actually hear about this. But I'm thinking about doing um, personalized online classes. Um, you know, I don't know. Like, I would just open it up for about, like, five to ten slots at a time. 
more likely five slots where we can get online um, I would send you the equipment that you would need um, to teach you these methods um, maybe like an hour long or two hour long class or something like that but it just be me and you you know what I'm saying like um, and so that way we can come like converse back and forth and um, you know, just if you have any questions, I can personally, you know, show you or answer that question or whatever. Like, I'm seriously thinking about doing something like that. I'm just trying to put in the atmosphere to see what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, if you are interested in it, hit me in my inbox. Y'all know it's always open. And let me know what you think. okay so yeah i'm about done man like it wasn't that complicated was it you see that was my almost finished jig <laughs> um right here you can uh run the rubber bands down the shaft of that hair if you don't know how to two strand twist i'm almost, almost gonna get that out but if you do i mean that's pretty simple if you put rubber bands on hair i'm pretty sure you know how to do a two strand twist i mean for me it's a little easier but if you want to run rubber bands down it instead you can um that's just to keep it together so that you can pull it through the base of the hair with the crochet needle that's all that's for so however you get it done it's cool um it doesn't have to be a twist but yeah after we pull that through we're done we're done we're ready for our install you know i start off standing there you know what i'm saying looking at the camera showing everybody my hair and then we get into the inside we go from there so that's it y'all let me know what y'all think um hit me in the comment section give this video a big thumbs up i love y'all peace and blessings